Andrea TV. Okay, on the YouTube channel. Just thought about it because I'm doing it for this channel now. Under when you are processing or putting up your videos, it'll show you the first screen, which says basic info. This is where I put the title. And you should put a title with a keyword. Below is where I type a description as to what you're going to be viewing in the video. And I include a link. For a link to be an active link, you need to have HTTP semicolon forward slash forward slash as you see here in front of it. If you only put www dot your team or your blog or your store name, it's not clickable. So if anyone is on your their phone or the computer, they would have to highlight, copy and paste, put it in another browser to get to where you want them to go to. And most people are lazy and they're not going to do that. And you still have to tell them it's below there. And here is where I put in the keywords for the video also. See, set up Google AdWords, um, keyword tool, five. Five is recommended. Um, not too spammy. Team Mael Millionaire, how to set up Google. But you need to slide over to the advanced settings because you may get people who say not nice and who don't want you to put this information out there because they aren't able to themselves. It's not working for them. They are bitter. They uh, have nothing better to do. They're not in the place to be happy for anyone else. I'm just saying, you're going to get some comments and some negativity. You don't want them throwing up all over your videos. You want to moderate it. So before, right here has comments, allow comments. It's your choice. You can allow comments or not. If you don't, you take it off. They can't comment. You don't have to moderate. To allow comments, there are two options. You can either have all, which is already de the default, which you don't want to do. You want to select approved. So before a comment gets posted under your video, you have to approve it. That way it reduces spam and haters. And you can sort by the comments. You want them the top comments first or newest. I select newest. Top comments was the default. But not too many people comment on videos now for the most part. But you, you might get some not nice things that you have to read. Ignore them. Shake it off. Keep going. Okay, now you choose your category. I chose how to and style because how to on all of these videos, my blogs and style, we are going to be cosmetics and skincare. But you choose the best option that you want. And I don't mess with that at all. My language is English and you can choose a recording date. I don't know if it makes that much of a difference. I haven't tested that, but I wanted you to see moderate those comments or block them altogether. So you're not shocked and like, oh my goodness, how long did someone see that there? Yeah, they can get nasty. And you can check whether you want embedding. You want your videos on other people's blogs and websites. I allow embedding for all of my videos. And notify subscribers. Every time you post a video, do you want your subscribers to get pinged for it to show up in their um, YouTube account back, you know, side office thingy when they come in? You kind of want that too. So I just wanted to show you that before I finish uploading this video. And then I'm going to click publish. And now it is up there. Boop. So moderate your comments by going to the advanced settings on your YouTube account. Andrea TV. Go team mil. Team my L millionaire. Team my L millionaire.